On the balcony of the stately Marion Cricket Club Pavilion sits one of the shortest players in the MCC touring squad but one with a towering presence. She is friendly but fierce, ingratiating yet intimidating, a yin and yang fighting for spiritual balance. A short while earlier, Claire Taylor had been at the crease for the winning runs to secure another T20 victory for the MCC tourists on their way through Philadelphia last September. Her glittering international career with England ended just as the sport was on the cusp of professionalization. Now with increasing numbers of women's T20 leagues starting up, is she tempted into resuming a more active playing career once again? I went down to the Surrey Stars and had a talk with them at one of their training sessions, Taylor says. Then I went outside with them for their training session and talked about batting and this, that and the other. Then they said Meg Lanning wasn't coming over, and they were saying, why aren't you playing Kia Super League? You could come and replace Meg Lanning. And I said, well, nobody asked me. Taylor is joking, sort of. Despite being on the wrong side of 40, she looks as fit and skilled as anyone in the MCC traveling party. However, she quickly finds a spike of reality to burst the fantasy thought bubble before it fully forms in her mind. When I stopped playing cricket in 2011, that was when I wanted to stop playing, Taylor says. I was also struggling with injury for that last six months. So part of me doesn't ever want to go back to that kind of pressure, where you're having to do so much rehab work just to get yourself on the part that the cricket itself isn't quite so enjoyable. There was a lot for Taylor to enjoy in her 13-year international career, from 1998 to 2011. She is one of only 10 female cricketers to have scored 1,000 runs in tests, and sits fifth all-time for older runs, behind Charlotte Edwards, Mithali Raj, Belinda Clark, and Karen Rolton. She holds the England record for most older runs in a calendar year, ending with 807 at 42.47 in 2005. What stands out in particular was the golden year of 2009 twin World Cup and World T20 wins, with Taylor claiming player of the tournament honours at both events, and being named ICC Women's Cricketer of the Year and the first woman to be named one of Wisden's five cricketers of the year. All of that contributed to her receiving an MBE and the Queen's New Year's Honours list for 2010.